how to read the setup guide on your portable MIG welder. Start on the left side and find the type of material you are planning to weld. For this example, we'll be welding steel. The next column over tells you what type of wire you need for welding steel. Here, we'll need a solid wire, such as ER70S6. In the next column, we'll choose the shielding gas we'll use to weld with. For this example, we'll be using C25, a mixture of 75% argon and 25% CO2. Next, we'll check the polarity. Since we'll be doing MIG welding, it will be direct current electrode positive, or DCEP. Now we'll choose our wire diameter. For this example, we'll use 030 wire. Next, we'll need to measure the thinnest of the two materials to be joined. In this example, we'll be welding two pieces of 1 8 inch or 11 gauge steel. We'll scan across the top of the setup guide to 11 gauge, 1 8 inch. In the voltage column on the 030 line, we see the setting is 10 and the wire feed speed is between 4.5 and 5.5. Dial in these settings on the front of your welder. Please remember that these are starting points and you may need to make adjustments. Some of the variables that can affect these settings are the quality of your input power, weld position, torch position, general condition of equipment, and joint preparation.